Well, hello YouTube, I'm John Can, and uh, today we've got a little something different for you. I found something I thought was really cool on Amazon and bought it. Um, it is this little CNC router. Uh, the company makes it is called Sane Smart, and it is called a Jinmitsu CNC router. It's the 13 or 3018 Pro. Um, I just thought it would be neat. The gist of this thing is, is it shows up. Um, in a box and you get a good deal on it because you have to assemble it yourself which is right up my alley um, I went ahead and got an upgraded package that came with a laser so we can do laser engraving as well see it's got some cool laser glasses there look at those I, I gotta put them on show you oh yeah safety first of course you know super cool laser glasses yeah we're gonna build this thing and check it out um, there aren't a lot of YouTube videos about this that I could find, uh, other than the ones that like the company itself has helped sponsor by sending people uh, one of these machines and whatnot. So I figured that this would be a great chance for somebody to do like a build review and tell you what they really think of how it's put together and how the software and stuff works for somebody who hasn't ever done anything like this. This is meant to be entry level, so that's kind of what we're shooting for is to see if it actually works out to be entry level or if it's something that's like way over my head and I have to call my tech guy and have him help me set it up. But I'm gonna set you up somewhere in here so you can see what's going on and we'll get started building this thing. So it's taken me about two hours to put this together. I had some interruptions. I had to go back and redo some stuff that I messed up. The majority of this is made out of what would appear to be 3D printed, you know, composites or whatever, um, as far as like the carrier for the spindle. The rest of this is aluminum or steel. Um, we've got the steel tubes that ride this across here. And honestly, the stepper motors and whatnot seem to be pretty well built. The control board, pretty easy to put together. It's coded, kind of see on there if it'll focus. The motor positions are coded. Um, it's got the input for the laser right up on top there. I kind of have a gripe about this power on switch. It's a little bit cheesy. Shafts and pallets and everything all fit together pretty darn well. So overall, I'm pretty impressed by this little thing. Uh, one thing I want to show everybody, and this is kind of interesting, um, the instruction manual it's basically just a picture book. There really isn't anything in there as far as like directions. It gives you, you know, what you're doing and what size bolts and whatnot, but it doesn't actually have much in the way of wording. And I'm able to put this together pretty easily just off of the picture. So Sane Smart did a pretty good job with that. I'm done for the night. It's pretty late. Tomorrow we'll try and see if we can make it run on a computer. So it's day two uh, with the little router here and we're gonna do some testing. I have got the offline controller here. We've got the plug-in deal all figured out. The controllers and stuff all plug in on the back of this thing. And as you can see the thing, looks like it's firing up. Let's see if this does things. That's a good indicator, it looks like a little. Motor runs that up. X axis. A little noise from this backlash nut. And there's the table move. Table moves. It's pretty quiet. Uh, so let's see here, this should turn on the spindle. It does. So it looks like the offline controller does what it's supposed to do. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up a computer and see how the software stuff goes. It's got this little mini disc that goes with it and we're gonna try that and see what happens next, so. Let me get the computer out and come back to you in just a minute, okay? 
to start with. I was hoping to use a different computer, but lacking power cords in that makes a big difference. So yeah, I'll put this thing in there and hopefully nothing awful happens to my nice computer. I'm a little scared, not gonna lie. Notice in a lot of the videos that are available for this product, um, people are building it and setting up the software and stuff. Nobody really seems to talk about running the machine and every 30 seems to assume that you have some sort of CNC experience already. I have none of those things. Okay, so I've been messing with the software on this thing for a while, trying to figure out how to make it all go. There's some stuff that's lost in translation. There aren't really helpful YouTube videos or anything because everybody assumes that you know how to use the programming before you start with this thing. Um, I finally figured out how to get it to make a little engraving. It's one of the pre-programmed things. Gonna mess with it a little more and see what I can figure out and I'll get back to you. So it's been a couple days since I set up the CNC router machine and you can see it there, it's running. I've been playing with Lightburn, um, which is the laser software that came with it. And I'm building something right now on the machine using that software. So I figured out how to use it, how to import a file, how to uh, trace whatever picture I want that I've made like in, I say paint or whatever, um, and, and put that on something. So we're gonna see how that turns out here in a minute. You can see this thing has some pretty good accuracy. These letters here, see how small that is? And look at, you can actually see like the exclamation point and stuff in there. For anybody who is deciding that they're gonna buy one of these machines thinking that you just plug and play, it's not that simple. There's a lot of learning curve that goes with it. It's taken me the better part of a week to set the machine up, to figure out the software stuff I need, to learn about the coding um, and the software that came with it that is basically included to go with it. I haven't even started on the Fusion 360. It's gonna take me some time to figure that out. So over the next couple weeks, I'll update you over and over again to let you know how I'm progressing with all this stuff. Okay, so it's been about a month, uh, maybe a little over a month that I've been messing with this thing and I've finally gotten to a point to where I can make the things I wanna make with it. I've got the CAD CAM system set up to where I can build the stuff in it and make tool paths and whatnot. And I've got my universal G-code sender figured out so that I can take my creations and actually send them to the router, which is sitting over here. I've been doing a lot of stuff with the laser, which, I mean, it's pretty easy to use. It doesn't take a lot. You can see looking at this, like I've built some signs. This turned out really nice. Got this deal here that I made. Um, all that is done with the laser. It's very detailed, honestly. I mean, this stuff's pretty, pretty little. And it does a really great job. You can cut out these little tiny shapes, like this little star. Very neat. But, but here's the thing is I haven't had a ton of luck with the router part of this. The router has been really hard for me to figure out. I think I've got it though. So we're gonna set you up to watch. I'm gonna hit go. And we're gonna see what happens, and hopefully nothing gets broken. And here we go. Turned out pretty good. Didn't mess it up or anything. You see this one here, I started off, I couldn't figure out how to get the bit to raise up. But now, we're there, we can make a thing. Pretty cool. Honestly, this thing is very cool. It does a lot of neat stuff. I think that it's time for us to go to the shop and just build something neat and use this to help us. So here we go.
Okay, so I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I'm gonna take a second to ramble at you because there are a couple things I feel like I should cover. The first one is that if you're gonna buy one of these, make sure you get the laser engraver. It is worth every penny. It works really well. I'm super impressed by it. Uh, the software that came with this package is called Lightburn. It was an additional 40 bucks and it was really worth the purchase um, because the software does everything I wanted it to do. The key for running the router is that you need to have a CAD CAM type software system for that. And what I found worked good for me was to use Fusion 360. They have free packages like for people that are startups and, and whatnot. So that was great for me. Uh, so I'm not exactly on a huge budget, you know, still waiting for the YouTube money. Ah. But this was a fantastic purchase. I think I'll probably wind up using it quite a bit in future projects. So keep an eye out for that stuff. Um, the only other thing I would tell you is to make sure that you check out your G-code senders, you know, and see what's available. There are some that you pay for, there are some that are free. I'm using a free setup, it's called Universal G-code Sender. Uh, I think the website is called GitHub. It works really well, the interface is good. The most important thing that I found is that you have to be able to go ahead and edit G-code. Because you're going to have to be able to do things like tell the, the spindle to pick up and whatnot. You could see in the video where I drug it across one of the pieces I was working on. So that's a big thing that you have to learn about if you're going to do something like this. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a second to subscribe if you haven't already. And remember, if I can build it, so can you.